Hey guys, today I've just made this keyhole saw, just a small one, and this project is just for fun, and I just want to show you how I made it. The steel that I'll be using is from this old hard point saw, which is already dull, and hard point saws, I can't really sharpen them, so I'm using the steel from this one, and I'm just cutting out a shape with my rotary tool. Next, I just evenly hacksaw the teeth in, and I'm going for about an 8 to 10 TPI saw, so... I just cut teeth as evenly as possible and of course it's better to use a ruler for this and after this we're just going to file the teeth. Here I put it on the saw vise and you can see all those slits in there and there are some imperfections but this is my first time actually cutting every single teeth into a piece of metal and right now I'm just going to use my file to get the general shape of the teeth. For the handle, I just looked at some pictures online and here I've just drawn it. And now I'm just going to cut that out. And after that, I do some shaping with files and also round it over so it will be more comfortable. Right here, I'm sawing a slit for the blade to fit in. Next here, I'm just marking dots so that I know where to drill to add the machine screw. After drilling the holes here, I'm using these brass machine screw types with just the flathead slotted screw. And right now, I'm going to tighten it and I'm also going to flush cut it because it's way too long. After that, I just file it smooth. After giving the handle some boiled linseed oil and beeswax, it's, it's ready to use. And I usually use keyhole saws for sawing mortises because sometimes if you're doing long mortises, you would rather saw it than chisel it. So how you do that is here I'm going to get an auger bit and I'm going to drill a 3 quarter inch hole there that we will square up later. And do it on both sides of the mortise. Right here, I use my mallet to square both of the holes up. I would usually be careful with these but I'm just testing out the saw so I'm just doing some rough work here. And here I get my keyhole saw. I also sharpened it because I've only cut the shape in but I never actually sharpened it so yeah. You need to go sharpen it again or you can just sharpen it at the start too. And as you can see it works pretty well. This is some soft wood. It's not that hard but... This project is mainly for fun and I'm not sure if I'm going to use it every day but maybe it will come in handy sometimes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is just a small project that I did. Bye!